So welcome to my flash talk about flash talks. The origin of this talk or presentation style comes from Japan and is actually referred to as a pachachka. Uh, but here in the United States, you usually only see it advertised as a flash talk. And so what a flash talk is, is it's this kind of automated presentation style that is a lot shorter than a typical presentation. And it can be about a lot of different things. This particular flash talk is 10 slides long. Each slide is 18 seconds each, meaning it's going to be a three minute presentation and it automatically advances. So you see my fingers, it moved on. The point of a flash talk is to talk less and to show more. While this presentation is about flash talks, you're going to see lots of pictures of dogs that are training to become guide dogs. And I'm going to use lots of pictures with very little text on my slides. So one of the things when preparing your flash talk is try to keep things in one program. For example, PowerPoint. If you convert between PowerPoint and slides and pages, you might end up losing your timings. You might end up losing your countdown bar, and it might just make it harder for you to practice in the future. Now you might be thinking, well, what if I want to talk about a topic for less than 18 seconds or more than 18 seconds? Well, if it's for less than 18 seconds, your really only solution is to put more information, more pictures, or additional topics on the slide. But if you want to talk for longer than 18 seconds, like you may have noticed I just did, you can just duplicate your slide. So you might have noticed that my countdown timer has actually already finished and is doing it again. So now I can at least talk for 36 seconds on the same topic. Now you might have noticed I haven't really been citing any of my content or my pictures. It's not necessarily that you shouldn't do it, but it's really not as necessary. This is going by very fast. No one is gonna be able to read where your different sources are coming from. You should also make your presentation, whether it's a flash talk or not, your own. And this doesn't mean you need to come up 100% with your own format. This just means that you should use something more than the default. This is going to show that you care, that you're interested, and it just, it just makes it more personal. Finally, you definitely want to practice, practice, practice. And that should make sense. This is a lot harder to practice for because of this timing feature and this automatic feature. So this is something you practice when making your presentation as well as practicing to actually give it. And then finally, for your final slide, you may be used to putting questions or work cited, but you don't need to do that for a flash talk. Use all the real estate you have. Your final slide should be content and should be information. And there you go. That's my three minute flash talk. So great. I'm glad you listened to that. But I do want to show you a couple of things in PowerPoint real quick based on the things that I shared during that flash talk. One was about those slides and duplicating slides to give yourself more time. While you could 100% rebuild that from scratch, ideally what you would do is just right click on the slide you want to duplicate and use the duplicate slide feature. This ensures that it's 100% the same and also retains all of your timing settings. Now, if you're taking my class, you have been provided a template that has the 10 slides at 18 seconds. But let's say you're making it from scratch or maybe you messed up and you want to change it or it needs to be changed. So the way you make your slides automatically go after a set time is in the transition tab. And I am using PowerPoint, uh, so this might look different on your computer if you're using a different program, but all programs that are kind of this slideshow should have similar features. So in the transitions tab, there is an advanced slide ribbon on the far right hand side. You can have on mouse click, so when you click the mouse it advances, and then the default, so default, that's what it is. You'll want to select after, and then here I have 18 seconds. So it's minutes, seconds, and like milliseconds. The actual format of your flash talk really depends on the organization. I do 10 slides at 18 seconds for a three minute presentation, but there's other organizations that do shorter or longer slides more or less slides. So check in with the organization you're preparing for in order to adjust this accordingly. You might even want to undo unmouse click 
Something I see pretty often in flash talks is if someone's talking under a slide and they're like, oh God, I just want to go ahead and advance. They do that, but sometimes it messes up their transitions, which can give them some issues. When you do that, make sure you click apply to all so that those settings, the after 18 seconds, applies to all of your slides. You can do it manually clicking slide by slide, but it's just going to be a lot faster to click that apply to all. And as you can see here, I have my 10 different PowerPoint slides. So with that, good luck on your flash talk. Again, don't forget to practice. And even during the building of your presentation, practice it along the way to see if you're not putting enough information or too much information on a slide. Good luck.